Greetings, my fellow Shek. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shek's Conquest, Episode 58, Jackson and the Tower. Mike is the slowest. Yeah, it does look like Mike's the slowest. At least they're sort of staying together as a group. But uh, Mike and Thor, yeah, Mike is slower. One way uh, that I could train their strength at some point would be for me to um, encumber them and have them carry people and have everyone run around encumbered like that. That's a really effective way of training strength. You can get your strength up to like 30 relatively easily doing that method. Um, I'm trying to avoid a lot of artificial training because it's you can definitely cheese it and make it a little bit too easy on yourself. So I'm just being careful about how much of that I do. Hey, I bet you missed me. Oh god, you don't have any notices. You've got what? Pacifier and the Red Bandit. Well, I'll buy the Red Bandit. I don't have to buy it. It's a free notice. But I'll take the Red Bandit notice. I'm not spending my 15k on the Nandachi blueprint. Um, I'm going to run into Squin. Now, I'm prohibited in the series from um, trading with Squin, but taking a uh, bounty notice isn't trading. There's no money that changes hands, so I think it's fine. Let's see if we can't um, manage a little bit of a formation. So, military formation... Oh, yes. Show me the columns! And here, King is very clearly missing. I love it. So right now, it's all about training the cardio, yeah. But eventually, we'll train some more than just cardio. Did he just power run through a gate? Maybe. Could be. He's known for weirder. King is special ops just because of uh, he he has a unique uh, physiology that allows him to uh, to run my errands for me. Yep. He's also uh, tough as nails, so that doesn't hurt. So I want the bounty notice, just because it makes sense roleplay-wise. Um, so let me read this bounty notice. A Greenlander male, ugly as a gutter and friggin' huge, the Red Bandit, wanted for arson, robbery, extortion, now thought to be wreaking ha uh, cruelties on lost travelers of the swamps as leader of the Red Sabers. Skilled and dangerous. It, uh, it, it doesn't tell you where, which would makes sense. I know where. I'm not going to spoil it, but this is why I want the uh, the Bandit King, the uh, Dust Bandit, Boss King, whatever. I want his notice. I'm going to hang out at the Holy Rune out, uh, Outpost until uh, King rejoins them. Was that a an anonymous tip? I heard a bloop. I've been obviously... I've meant to have a different notification noise, but I went through all of my, like, free sound effects that I could use, and... And yeah, that was an anonymous tip. Oh, I know who it is, though. <laughs> you can stay anonymous, but the amount that you tipped makes it obvious. Thank you. Um, I'll keep you anonymous, but... Thank you, Randall Thor. <laughs> I think you, uh, let everyone know it was you. Alright, so here we are. We are looking... I, I wouldn't... We do have room for one more recruit, but I'm mostly looking for notices. So we've got Shade. Cool. I like that. I like Shade's notice. Shade is, um... I can read it for you. Scorchlander female. Soft and floppy. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I've ever read that before. That is, um... Ooh, that is... At least she's female. If it was a male being called soft and floppy, that, that would be even worse, I think. Uh, a dagger-wielding ninja. Ninja trash. Wanted for acts of theft and general deviousness. Yep. The soft and floppy. God, that is funny.
It's family friendly, right? Oh yeah. Uh, Ghost. So Ghost is a is a Shek. He is the um, the leader of Berserkers, camped in the Spider Plains, and that is one of our vowed enemies. So it's cool to pick up his notice. But uh, I didn't get the notice for uh, the person that I was actually after. General shops sell notices. I don't. I think travel shops can sell notices, and there is a travel shop in town. But I'm not sure about general shops. No, they don't. Uh, I think I think travel shops can. They certainly sell maps, which would be good to buy. But I'm not allowed to buy from them, so I'd have to do a travel shop somewhere else. Oh, and they have a backpack I like. Brutal, brutal. I'm just not allowed to buy it. Yeah, engineering maps, tech maps. Um, I don't see any notices on them. But uh, one of the rules is I don't trade with um, other Shek, so... I'm gonna run down to this way station, and then if I don't find it in this way station, I'm just gonna go anyway. Because at some point. Just need to make the executive decision to actually go on the attack. So, here is a ruined holy outpost. It's really too bad that you can't put these back together. I think it would be pretty cool that you, if, if you could repair these and make them work. Although, I get that, like, instantly owning a defensive gate tier 3 might be a little unbalancing if you're poor and just have some building materials, but still, it'd be pretty cool. There is a mod for that, yeah. Insert the gratuitous. There is a mod for that. <laughs> oh, yes. What camp's over here? I can't see it. Oh, uh, hey! Let's cut our teeth on some practice. There's a tiny dust bandit group. And here's one of the splinter Shek. But we're not doing that right now. Someone proposed it, though. But didn't win. Alright, in we go, and right now we're just cutting our teeth on some, um, on some dusters here out of boredom. It's possible that we'll, um, we'll manage to get some crossbow bolts for, uh, for headshot as well. I don't know if I've been to this way station with the intensive recruiting too, so I could take a look. Oh, what arm was that? Right. Okay, no check on the roof. Oh! Are you number 32? I uh, might be. Might be. I'll go upstairs in just a minute. Oh, if you're not number 32, I'm pretty sure we have a number 32 in here. Because there's a lot of, um, a lot of check I could talk to. No notices. Uh, so let's let's see who's. Uh, I'll check who's recruitable in just a second. I just want to watch me smack down some of these dust bandits because it's hilarious. And then what's insult to injury is we're just going to use their beds to heal up. You know what we're doing? We're just turning a bunch of these. Uh, Dust bandits into Crumple Johns. Just a swarm of Crumple Johns. Crumple John is... A human that is always crumpled over. Yeah. That's what we're doing. At any evil, we're just... There are marionettes. Is this the boss? Nope. It's a bowman. Just get him already, come on. Don't play with your food. Although we don't eat them. Alright, it's not the full group because there's more over there. So let's keep going. Uh, but I'm going to go check out for the recruiting. So, we have multiple choices here, I think. So this person is going to be a level zero. They only cost 3,000, so we know that they're going to come unskilled entirely. 
Uh, but at least we're going to get someone. So I'm going to turn on the raffle timer. Uh, and this is potentially the last raffle ever unless someone dies. So good luck to you all. And then let's check upstairs to see if this person's a uh, higher level. Because there was um, Zep. Do we already have a Zep? The rest are all ninja guards. So see if Zep costs. Uh, oh, also 3,000. So neither of them are going to have particularly... Uh, they're not going to have skills. Okay, so Kane's going to hang out there for the duration of that raffle timer, the four minutes, while I clean up and heal up this um, this group here. But even these dust bandits are really good uh, training, especially for the new guys that basically don't have any skill. And then whoever wins, you can choose whether you want to be male or female, because they're uh, identical other than their gender. So you'll actually have a choice of gender, too. Which is... Uh, an unusual benefit. Shoot him in the face! No, oh, bummer. Alright, how hurt do we get? Uh, Orin. Anyone that took any damage should just heal up using their beds. And then I'll have um, headshot run around and try to collect as many bolts as I can. Obviously, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of armor and arms and stuff like that, but I just don't even care. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the training, staying focused, job at hand. It's too bad that I can't break down their uh, bed rolls and take it with me. Because I would obviously do that. I think everybody that is injured is getting healed right now. But I really didn't have a lot of injuries. Almost no one took significant damage. Because they're just... Just puny little dusters. And... Headshot has about... <laughs> almost twice as many bolts as she started with, so... Uh, it has been fruitful, too. Alright, we got two minutes left. Let me check them again. Ooh, even Rockfin took a little bit of damage. I went through and realized that people weren't really all that hurt. But if even we got scratched, I might as well rest up because I've got some free beds. And we're waiting anyway, so. All right, literally anyone that has even a paper cut is now sleeping. It also limits the amount of food that we need. All right, raffle timer. Um, I might have the raffle go off a minute early just for the sake of time. So, in 30 seconds. Right, buddy? So it was Zep or Soto. Okay. Whoa, what the? Oh, Jesus. Having, like, a bunch of caravan drone soldiers blitz in. I know they're resting, but, yeah, that took me by surprise. All right, raffle timer's up. And it goes to Arcmaster. Arcmaster, what name do you want and what gender do you want to be? It is up to you. You are lucky number 32. Male and named Jackson. All right. Thank you for replying quickly. Wow, you are skinny. You're going to need uh, some meat on those bones. 
And you're also very hungry. So Kang uh, has no food on him, but we're at a way station. We're not in a Shek town, so I can buy some food for you. And you are obviously going to be uh, the slow man on the totem pole for a bit. So I'm going to carry you over to the rest of the group. Pick you up. It's probably very infantilizing to be recruited by a beast of a dude and then him just sweep you off your feet and being like, all right, it's time to go. And you're like, wait, wait, I didn't sign up to, okay. It's gonna be like that. Yes, it is gonna be like that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find slippers for you to wear. No. So uh, you're gonna be without shoes. All right, let's rendezvous over to the rest of the group at 28 miles an hour. And I'm even gonna speed you up a little faster. You carry my backpack at 33 miles an hour. Zoom, zoom, and we'll rejoin. What song do I want stuck in my head today? Um. Kenshi soundtrack. So there you are. There's your, uh, there's the roster with Jackson at the bottom. If you have, you obviously don't have any skills, but if you have any occupations or weapon preferences, uh, feel free to share them, and I'll try to... Oh, I don't want... Thanks, limited time offer. Could you... Oh, stupid. Advertisements within... Within... Oh, this is just so annoying. Could, could you please not advertise within your own software that, you know, I paid for? That'd be, that'd be wicked cool. Alright. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, rendezvous with the rest of the group. Now we have the full squad of 32. Shaggers Pride. Shaggers Squad. And we'll head on over. If anyone else that has characters assigned want to change anything about their occupation, uh, just let me know. So we're going to wait for Kang here, regroup, and then hit the rest. I'm a little worried that uh, some of these dust bandits are just like waiting to get back up and attack me as I sleep, but uh, we'll beat them again if I need to. To make chemo a person that all holds rice? Nope. <laughs> he has to be the armor smith, and uh, you're one of two armor smiths. You're gonna keep that job. <laughs> no rice hauling for you, my friend. Sorry. So, if you're wondering why I'm parked here, I'm gonna spoil something a little bit. Uh, the dust boss is right in this tower. This unknown tower. If we got close enough to the unknown tower, it would tell me that. I do sort of wish that if you had uh, the... If you had the, the proper papers about the enemy, it would tell you where they are exactly. Um, but there's going to be a reward on the dust boss's head. Not that we're doing it for the reward. We're doing it for the experience. King, are you still moving? No, I think King stopped. All right. Whatever is the matter, dude. Gasp. Spoilers. Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen in a few minutes. Um, anyway. Probably not a night raid, though. So that you guys can have a better view of the bloodshed. In loading zones. Yeah, it's nice that I have a little camp, like, right next to the dust boss. Where I can rest up and heal up and share campfire stories. And Jackson here is, uh, flying towards the group. Alright, it's, uh, not exactly daybreak. But, uh, it's close enough. 
Jackson, you're probably going to want to give me my backpack back. Because, uh... You do not have the ability to hold it. So, he at least came with a katana. It's, uh... Not much of a katana. I'm a little worried about your... your Well, they're just dust bandits. As long as you don't get butt-whipped by the boss, you should be alright. Um, I'm wearing my good limb. And... We're gonna follow... Daniel Jackson here... To the dust boss. This is my butt kicking arm. Exactly. He's got an arm for the dainties doing the research in the in the base and an arm to kick butt. Your run speed is you're at least not as slow as a slave. Loot armor. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Walked us right into a uh Hungry Bandit group. Nothing like a little wounds to start off, right? I'm sure no one's all that hurt. Oh, although Jackson, <laughs> he, he got his stomach pretty gutted pretty pretty thoroughly. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then Jackbot... Okay, Jackbot did just get expelled out of the mountain. That's good. No Deep Rock Galactic for me. I'm not bothering with um, military formation anymore. I'm just having them run as a group together. Yeah, it's toughness practice. So, uh, here's a really good um, uh, point of reference. Jackson, for all intents and purposes, is essentially one across the board. Zero toughness, or zero dex, two toughness. So, you can see, as long as he stays conscious for a while, you can see uh, the gains that he can make. And then another good point of reference would be someone like Nightnave, who is one of our least skilled, or horse, who've got, um, actually their toughness did climb, but they have, um, dex in the high single digits. Like, nine-ish. So, you know, just keep an eye on that, and I'll check back in with the stats. And then someone who's particularly skilled, let's say Kang, has, uh, low 30s, or low 40s, is not likely to get very much out of this fight. Um, bone dog. No thanks. This bone dog's like frozen. You did get a chompy. Two chompies. All right, so this is the tower. We're going to want to be on the inside of the cliff wall. Send the bottom half first. Um... I'm not going to do too much strategy in this fight. It's going to be... It's going to be a, kind of a, a large brawl rather quickly. And the other thing is you don't want to stand outside this gate. Uh, because if you're outside the gate, um, you could be killed by the crossbows. The crossbows are no joke, so you want to close the distance. So if we take a look at the roster again... The people that are particularly good at lockpick would be... I guess I didn't really put it down, but L's would be a good one. So we're going to have L's try to pick the gate rather than us take shots. And his uh, pick skill is 77. He's going to be able to pick this thing very, very quick. Get us through it so we don't take uh, crossbow hits. Shona should be pretty good at picking these two. Um, where are you, Shona? Because I could have everyone try to pick it, but a lot of people probably have a skill of zero, and it just offers us uh, offers our enemies more targets to try to shoot at, which is not really good. God, where is Shona? There you are. Your pick chance is 
uh, point of reference, most people's pick chances are high single digits, like 8 9%. So I'm sending in the good pickers. And then um, Kang can also try to pick. Because he's he had to... Oh, Els did a first try. All right. Open this bad boy. Yep, not much of a defense, is it? And then over here, uh, the Dust King is pretty easy to identify because he's a full head and shoulders taller than most. His stats here are in the uh, mid mid range, like 50 40s. But the, the rest of these guys are just Dust Bandits. And they are trying to react, getting on the crossbows on the wall. King! Backpack down. So, Rockfin, Ruka, you guys square off with the king. Maybe rain too. And I'm going to try to manage to take their crossbowmen off, because I think that's probably where the threat is. Keeping them off of mounted weapons. So here's the, here's the boss, and he has a bounty of 35k. Uh, he is wanted by the United Cities, which I'm going to turn him into. This tower, uh, for reference, is pretty much full of dust bandits. So there is no shortage of people to kill during this fight. I am curious who's going to take down the king, though. But he is, uh, he is being squished pretty quickly. It looks like Rockman's actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And, um, winning pretty thoroughly, but obviously he's outnumbered. Oh, no, he got a good hit in. Rain's not letting him go, though. Oh, that was a good shot. Ruka. Oh, now, oh, you down. Uh, the last shot was Rain. Rain? So he has a Mark II Ring Saber. Uh, I don't think anyone has said that they want ring sabers, but he also pr has pretty good armor. Uh, but the problem is, he is... Yoinked! Mine now. Now, for this bounty, we don't actually need to kill everybody. But, we're here for training. Not the bounty, primarily, so... Everybody must die. Uh, they also... Ooh! Hey! Hey! Headshot! Guess what? This is, uh, loot... Salvaged in combat. Nah, I don't care if I'm caught stealing. C can you just... Fine. Alright, everyone must die. Right, let's... Upstairs, we've got... Uh... Cat. Who I'm probably not going to talk to. Well, no, I could talk to. I could always dismiss. And then the rest of their base loot. Jackson needs armor? Nah, Jackson getting his toughness up the hard way. The problem with uh, armoring up Jackson, in truth, is um, giving him armor means that he'll be even more encumbered, which means he'll be even slower. So until he gets a little, um, until he gets a little stronger, uh, armor is actually could be a problem for him. I'll see if I can loot, uh, I can wear some of the Dust Kings. Okay, I obviously can't wear the pants, because that's too heavy. Um, but yeah, alright. He has a little bit of armor. Headshot, let's get that bow. And then... King, I'm gonna uh, cherry pick some of the remaining loot that looks good. Which is mostly gonna be the stuff in the boxes for us to keep. Patch, patch him up so he doesn't die before delivery? Yeah, I will. I think he's his bounty is one of those, like, dead or alive, and I don't really care if he dies. Um, but because we, we, don't, um, we don't have any overkill weapons, I doubt that he's going to perish anyway. Because it's not like we're hitting with, like, fray axes and falling suns. We're hitting with katanas, so he... Death by a, a thousand cuts. Yeah, he's not even close to being um, exsanguinated. As I suspected. At least he's training for a medic, true, but you could make the argument that I could patch everyone up here, and you, it would be training for the uh, the medics, but obviously that's a waste of my time. I'm not healing up my enemies.
Uh, Rockfin, I don't believe, has a bounty anymore. It cleared over time. Uh, I'm not gonna steal the hashish. Hey, uh, Els. You fat trunk, get up here. Where are you? Actually, here. Everyone try to pick this lock. It's good training. Cool. Blood rum. Rum. Advanced kit. Pearl urns. Saki. Grog. Gotta keep that stuff away from L's or he'll drink it all. And the top level. Rockfin, go chat with Cat. Oh, hey! A new guy. Wanna chat? I get so excited when I get visitors to talk to. Not much to do in here, see? Uh, sometimes I like to count flies. I call this one Chubbs because she's a bit overweight. Um, that's great, but do you have any friends? Uh, I don't have time for chit chat. I'm leaving. Yep, you're free. Tools and split kits. Okay, I like. They're mine now. Um, what else is there to loot? Luxury goods, chew sticks. Scav backpack, I don't really want. Advanced first aid kit, that's pretty good. And I think we've cleared this tower. Uh, I guess Kimo was the one that unlocked Cat, so she's thinking Kimo. Down we go. Jackson, you're definitely going to be slowest. We're going to follow you. So, uh, here's the thing. I am going to pull for what to do next, because this did not take a lot of time. This was an appropriate challenge. Uh, last stream, when you all voted for me to um, to go to the ruins, I, I was like, are you sure? And then you double down, so I did it. But um, what to do next? We could uh, fight another bounty. You'd... Vote on which ones. We could uh, go to ancient armories. Go to ancient uh, libraries. Ancient armories and ancient libraries are definitely going to be easier than labs. Labs are kind of the hardest. Uh, we could gear, uh, gear up. Train strength for the weaklings. Or viewer submitted suggestions. How's that for a list? So, go and vote. I think what I'm going to do here is um, have Kang turn in the bounty. Because I have to turn them in into United Cities. And um, the closest United City city is uh, not exactly that close. Uh, it would be, what, Morn? Does Morn even have a police? Oh no, that's Tech Hunters. Catton. So yeah, that that's a that's a considerable distance to cover for uh, most, but not for Kang. So Kang, go pick up the Dust King. And Kang, uh, you are going to give your backpack to Rain. Uh, cat joined. You're gone. Bye bye. And I'm just gonna have a Kang squad. Because Kang is going to go turn this bounty in. Because pretty much no one can chase him, right? So, although I am he heading into Elder territory. Uh, and then Jackson, we are gonna follow you. And we're gonna head home briefly. Until I get new... Did you just spit on me? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hey, you. Did you spit on me? Well, also, why am I subterranean? Now, get out here. Yeah, that's what you get for spitting. 
Don't spit on people. Dummy. Automod doesn't like the word weakling. <laughs> oh, Automod. You are a bit ridiculous at times. There's so many words that are just like bad words for Automod that I just... At least I have moderators to help because it's like every word is bad. There's even some that don't even make sense. Like GW. I saw uh, a few days ago that the Automod like flagged. It's like, it's two letters. Like, unless the letters, I mean, there, there's a possibility of two letters being offensive, but not those two letters. Kang, are you already stuck? No, no, you're not stuck. He is flying to the target. Another thing I'm going to need to do with this uh, Dust King is strip him fully before I turn him in. So, vote timer's on. You got two minutes to vote. And if we're doing ancient libraries... Uh... Hmm. So, the problem is I've bought some maps that has mapped them, but the maps don't... didn't mark that it was a library. So this is actually not a library that I'm looking here in vain. Uh, so I might take what I know about the world and extrapolate where I can go. Um, yeah. Trying to think of what the closest library to me is. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Let me hide the big map so you can actually see something while I I investigate this. So he's just running down to Catton to turn in... Uh, what's his face? The Dust King for 35k. Can I travel to those islands? Yeah, I could swim out there. There's really nothing in the deep ocean that is um, dangerous. It is the waters around the swamps and stuff that are uh, scary. But deep ocean is fine. There's nothing that tries to eat you, typically. Okay, I know what library I'm going to do, if uh, if that wins. Got it. We're good. All right, Jackson, how's it going? You stopped. All right, keep moving to Shagger's Pride. Okay, I see the problem. You don't know how to walk. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, go to a library. We will do that. Head to library ruins. So, King's already at Shaggers Pride because he's fast. And he will rendezvous with us as soon as he's done. I might want to try to whip up Jackson a set of armor before we head out, so he's properly equipped. But the problem is, he has so low strength that he'll probably not be able to wear the armor. Um, so maybe when I get home... Oh, hello. Escape servants. Uh, maybe when I get home, what I could do is to try to encumber him and get him to train a little bit of strength uh, before I head out. Also, why is he starving? Don't I have a bag full of food? Yeah, Jackson. Jackson, my guy. What are you? What are you doing with your life? That you're starving. Oh, I was. I clicked on escape servant. Jackson is not starving. My bad. So I'll, I'll try to train a tiny bit of strength for him, so he can even wear armor. Um. And put everyone else back to work. Ooh. 
Ooh, beakies. Beakies on the left. Looks like a nomad caravan. After helping all those nomads, do they care? Uh, still zero, but a little bit more of a sliver than previous. It takes a lot, in other words, if if that's your method. I also have the uh, the the ba a band of bones coming in two days, uh, but I don't really care if I'm home forward or not. It's not a big deal. All right, everybody, jobs on. And then Jackson, your job is to go find a trader backpack, fill it on up, and uh, bring that bad boy. Walk that bad boy around. Rain is going to go uh, cut and run, heading up to the way station. And as you can see, everybody is uh, getting to work immediately. So Jackson, oh, to, oh yeah, we're not in combat. You're just manning the crossbows. Okay. Where are you, Jackson? So, wooden backpack. Check. And a truly obnoxious amount of ore. Oh, there's almost no copper ore. Uh, here we go. I don't want to do all of it. I want to leave some for the armor smithing. Or plate beating. So, Jackson, uh, you are going to pick up someone that doesn't have a job... The other thing I should check is to make sure that my craftsmen uh, aren't injured so that the crafts that they're making... Yeah, okay, they're fine. Are 100%. Uh, Mike, you didn't have a job. Get over here, Mike. Where'd he go? Where is Mike? No. He's helping to craft the... Okay, yeah. Right. Don't do, so. What I'm doing is I'm doing a tiny bit of strength training in Jackson just so that he can wear armor. Because otherwise, uh, if I put armor on him, he won't be able to move at uh, useful speeds. So he's holding Mike, and then has a backpack full of stuff. So he's encumbered, uh, ninety eight percent, and he's just going to walk around a bit, getting his strength up to like six or seven for uh, to be able to wear armor. Back over to Kang. Kang obviously went through the burning forest. Oh, God, and there's a big thing nest right in front of me. I'm glad that I looked over now because uh, these guys were about to go romp and chomp. Oh, good, there's like two nests. Yep. What are you? Long, uh, big dogs? Yeah, boneyard wolves. Right, let me hide that pole, because it's already been determined. Gang running through the, uh, the world there. There's no installation for training strengths? Well, there's, there's mods for, like, weight benches and the like. But strength is actually relatively easy to train um, in the game because you just need to encumber yourself and walk around or use a very big weapon and fight. Uh, there are some band of bones in our base, so let me close the gate. We'll tack on provoked because, yeah, there's a few of them. I just need to make sure that my crafts people don't uh, get injured. I'm relatively surprised how often the Band of Bones seems to be showing up at my door. Very annoying. Ooh, Fang just got friendly fired, I think. Oh, good shot. Very sketchy, but good shot. All right, glitch, stripped him. And... Gizo, you strip this one. No armor, no weapon. Oh, look. 
Gizo, you broke the laws of physics there. But I forgive you, because that's pretty cool. And I think uh, Thor got friendly fired something? Night Knave? Night Knave did. Okay. Well, those that were annoying are now... I think I think we're in the clear. Uh, back over to Jackson. Oh, Mike's... A oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's being carried. Uh, you go walk that way. So here, uh, strength is already three. I think we started off as one. So you can see how effective this is at um, strength training. 20%, 21, 26, 31, right? It really goes up pretty fast. To a point. There's diminishing returns for this kind of training. And you, you eventually get to a point where it's just not that helpful unless you're using a heavy weapon or something like that. When you're encumbered, holding someone and, and using a heavy weapon, that's pretty fast. Um, I'm here to barter. Check my bag for contraband? Uh, that's fine. You gotta catch me first. <laughs> Alright, so here's the police station. Before I turn him in, um... Ooh, you know what? I don't really trust them not to do weird things as they put him down, so let me run out of town and strip him out here. Did you drop him or- wait, what? Stay unconscious! Okay, this is exactly what I want to avoid. Luckily, I have an autosave if things get weird. Yep, things got weird. Good. I was the one to pick him up. All right, let me do this out of town because the guards are opportunistic and will take credit for everything that I do if given the chance. I didn't mean to drop. All right, put down. Uh... Oh! Do, what is the heck? You don't have an inventory anymore. There we go. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Into the police station. And we are in uh, a United Cities town, so I can do business here. It's not a Sheck owned. He briefly turned into a large box. Yep. Because that's that's what we want. All right. Uh, who's the bounty guy? Here you go. Hey, police chief. Take him. And boom. Big money, big money. Okay, let's see if I can't spend some of it. So we have a mechanical shop here, and uh, you guys did vote earlier that I can buy good mechanical stuff, so... Well, it's not that kind of shop. Scrap masters will have good weapons. Good blunt weapons, but still. General shop, bar, bar... Alright, let's check the bars for bounty notices, because I, I want to collect some more. But at least now I don't have to check for recruits. So, there's that. Ghost? Uh, didn't I already have Ghost? Yeah, I had I had Ghost. I can sell that back to them. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nothing there. The only re real reason to come to Catton is for the Scrap Masters, but um, I, I don't, I'm not buying blunt weapons just yet. Uh, Tin Fist will never cash that bounty. Valamon, never cash that bounty. Simeon, probably never going there to Gutterhead, maybe? I mean, I could buy them, but here's the one for Gorillo and Voodoo Brothers, Punk and Screamer. Um, a lot of these bounties just don't make sense for us to do, because they're just not enemies of our faction, so... Um, for those reasons, uh, we may not turn them in. Like Simeon and Valamon, they don't mean anything to the Shek. 
Uh, what else is here? We've got a ranger shop and the thieves guild. Okay, so let's go into the scrap master see if there's blueprints at least. Shouldn't he have a Mado blade? The uh, the uh, Dust King. Uh, he had a Mark II blade. So, no. He had the um. Uh, what's it called? The uh, the Ring Saber Mark II. So here is the Scrap Master. Oh yeah. And just show me your stock already. I don't want your story. So the Scrap Masters add extra blunt damage to their weapons. And let's see if there's any blueprints that I want. The police got the blade. Yep. No, there's really no nothing there. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shaq's Conquest, which originally streamed live on Twitch December 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Baradamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Also, I suggest joining Discord. On Discord, I do game giveaways, and you can also sign up for notifications for when I go live. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Shaq. <laughs>